Hi! Hi folks! I have been a Roman Catholic since conception. I would like to think devout. Ontario, Canada. There's a Catholic high school, St. Joseph's. Gee! I went to St. Joseph's Catholic school, but not in Ontario, Canada, in New York. And it wasn't the high school, it was the elementary school. And there's a student there by the name of Josh Alexander. And you want to know what happened to Josh Alexander? It was a Catholic student arrested at a Catholic school for being Catholic. What? Wait a minute. He attends the Catholic school. <laughs> he practices his Catholicism. And they expel him for that. And here's what this young man did that offended the administration at this Roman Catholic high school in Ontario, Canada. He had the nerve to say there's only two genders. Uno, due, two. Yeah! Male, female. Man and woman. And so that's why he got suspended and or arrested. And the school is saying this Roman Catholic school you're going to stay suspended until you recant you saying there's only two genders, man and woman. Gee, let me show you something. This is a Catholic Bible, Roman Catholic. Now what's in this Bible, which I'm going to show you, is in every Christian Bible throughout the world. It's divided into two sections. The Old Testament, which is before Jesus Christ, and the New Testament, which is Jesus Christ and forward. And in this Bible, the Roman Catholic Bible, if we go to the first part, which is the Old Testament. Let's look at the Old Testament, kids. And the first book of the Old Testament, gee... It's called the book of Genesis. Right there. Right there, kids. And you know what's in this first book? <laughs> the book of Genesis? Creation. God created the earth. And you know what else he created? Man and woman. And it says so in Genesis, the Roman Catholic Bible, every Christian Bible. So this is what this young man was saying. Hey, it's in the Bible. God created man and woman. In Genesis, you won't find where he created any other type of human other than man and woman. And for that, the Catholic high school suspended this Catholic student for being, <laughs> for being Catholic. In essence, what he's going through is a modern-day inquisition. And he was in the role of other folks who faced inquisitions. In the 1600s, there was an astronomer named Galileo. And he had the nerve to say that the moon circles the earth. And the earth rotates. And the earth circles the sun. Why, according to the Catholic Church, that was blasphemy. So he faced an inquisition. He was arrested and later subjected to house arrest till the day he died. So this young man Josh is facing a modern day inquisition. And as Jesus said when he was nailed to the cross, forgive them for they know not what they're doing. We'll have to update that. Forgive them because they know what they're doing. What, what's hideous about this is, is it really his Catholicism that offended the Catholics? at this Catholic high school, or perhaps it was the hat he was wearing, because it's a Trump-style hat that he was wearing. Or could it be the American flag? <laughs> the American flag he was adorned with. Catholicism in North America, or I should say Canada and the United States, is under attack. The FBI is monitoring the Catholic Church with what they deem to be offensive. In Canada, the Catholic <laughs> is facing an inquisition for being a Catholic. Look, you can attack us all you want. Our faith will not subside. It will stay strong. 
what you were doing when you would attack Christians anywhere, Roman Catholics, you strengthen our resolve. You don't weaken it. So dear God, really, forgive those heretics at St. Joseph's Catholic High School in Ontario, Canada. All right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in. And dear God, please bless this young man, Josh Alexander, for practicing his faith as he was taught his Roman Catholicism. See ya. <laughs>